let's keep trying to do this relatively in order. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself and end up missing some things. So that's the end. We'll keep following this road up this way. I'm glad that we've actually started meeting people and getting side quests, because I didn't mean to do that. I was uh, I was really worried for the, the first couple minutes we were exploring this place. It seemed pretty dead. <laughs> oh, this is where Uma lives, apparently. Hmm. Wait a second, what was that picture? Damn, again, you just can't make it out. Why do they put all these pictures in here and then make them so super low res that you can't actually get anything interesting out of them? Hi. Yes, good evening indeed. Unfortunate weather we're having today, isn't it? And how can an old lady like me help you out here? Ah, uh, you got nothing new. Yeah, it would be really unfortunate if I was trying to climb a mountain. That mechanic is kind of questionable in my opinion. I think it's neat that it's in there, but that's going to end up really pissing me off at some point. When it, like, is preventing me from doing what I want to do, and there's no bed or campfire nearby that I can use to advance the time. I guess we can always make a campfire, but only if we have cover, because otherwise the rain will put it out, right? And here we have yet another empty house. I just totally wake this guy up. Rhodes says, hmm, is it my turn already? Ah, oh, well, say, not to pry, but I have to ask, who are you supposed to be? The demands of my job mean that nights and days are switched for me, so please let me sleep just a bit more. Yeah, I know what that's like, bro. But I would like to talk to you about anything interesting you might know. Okay. Fine. Maybe we'll talk to him later. Oh, that dude on the horse. Oh, come on. As soon as I started running at him, he started galloping. Damn. I wish I'd talked to him. That actually begs the question. I have not actually tried to call Moo Horse from somewhere really far away yet. Let's see what happens. He couldn't hear your call. Wow. So, what do you do if you want your horse but you're out in the middle of nowhere. I do wonder. Hmm. Um... All these little huts on the backs of these houses. They look like a place we should be able to enter. Oh, that thing has the arrows too. I'm not getting fooled again. Yep, so he's... I don't know what time he's going to get up, but it's probably going to be a little bit later. Let's go check out the windmill. Maybe there's something fascinating up here. Not so much. It seems like... All the interesting stuff that's happening in this village, like, really happens in the center of it. On the outskirts, there's just not a lot to go on. Time to switch off again. I'm getting ready for bed now. Why don't we talk tomorrow, says Ralera. Is she about to go switch out with Rhodes? What are they doing, like, keeping watch up here? There's, like, some Lord of the Rings shit. We must light the fires when we see the orcs coming. Or in this case, the moblins. That was actually a great scene. Okay. I guess there's not going to be anything in any of these windmills. Let me out! Although, there may be... stuff on the upper levels. Uh, oh, shit. Well, looks like they're just here to be pretty, actually. I guess that's the only purpose they serve. Let's get to the, some higher ground here. 
Damn, there's even these sconces up here. That's gonna take quite a while to find all these things and light them. I wonder what the reward is. Probably rupees. What did he say? Hateno Ancient Tech Lab, Hateno Beach. Oh, over there is the beach. That is the place that somebody wanted us to clear out. Oh. And no, let's not do it yet. We gotta stick to this village, guys. We gotta get this taken care of first. Then we can go off and do other things. But I'm not opposed to exploring the outskirts here. This looks like a interesting little area. What's going on here? A lot of apple trees. Oh, come on. I hate these apples on the top. I hate them so much. You know what? We should probably just chop all this shit down. I need wood anyway, don't I? Yeah. Lumberjack Link. Kind of, a uh, Poetic that I'm gonna get the wood for my house from this village. It'll really make me feel at home, you know? Although I do kind of feel like I'm defiling this place right now. Because it seems like these trees were here for a reason in this little secluded area. I am happy that this woodcutter's axe lasts so long, though. I've been using this thing for a while, and I haven't had to replace it. Eh, fuck it. I'll take this one, too. Okay. Got a decent amount of wood, a shit ton of apples. Have I missed any buildings? I don't think so. Although, I kind of want to see if that one dude came back out to where the girl was hanging out. Maybe he'll talk to us now. Is that him right there? Oh, who's this? Koyan? Yes? What do you want? Oh, don't act so clueless. Although... Fine. You seem harmless enough. Forgive me, I've just been on edge with all these monsters running around. They come up from Hateno Beach to steal my sheep. If someone doesn't do something soon, I won't have any left. Oh, so this is the person who wants us to kill the, all the monsters. Okay. And I did totally miss this house, so... Glad I came back. Oh, and there's the dude. Okay, let's go talk to him. Yo, homeboy. What you doing here? Ah. Hello and good evening. The night wind is cold, eh? What you up to? Wait, what's this thing? Mm. This? Good question. I'm not quite sure myself. But apparently the director at the Hateno Ancient Tech Labs lights it with a blue flame. Oh, it's connected to him. The Hateno Ancient Tech Lab is at the top of this hill. Mark the smoke pouring from the chimney and you'll find it. Nobody lives there but a weird old man and a strange old lady. Only the kids in town are foolish enough to go near it. He sounds alright. Why is everybody treating him like shit? Mm. Hey there. Mm. Something I can do for you? What's it look like? I'm keeping watch over the windmills. My devoted wife and I stand guard uh, day and night. She's not here right now. I mean, it's more of a time-sharing sort of thing. My love for her is so powerful that she suggested we take shifts. That way it feels more special when we're together. Funny, that was going to be my question to you. What are you doing skulking around in the dead of night? I'm lost, I'm a thief, I'm a traveler. I kind of want to fuck with this guy, but we probably shouldn't. <laughs> mm. Are you now? Well, that's fine. You seem harmless enough. Yeah, I was going to say, if you're always, you know, constantly swapping shifts with your wife, then when do you spend time with your wife? That sounds like a crappy way to live. But I guess they work it out somehow. I don't know why you're so worried about the windmill, though. There's freaking nothing in those things. And it's not like they're generating electricity for you. They're just there to look pretty. Yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and talk some more. Oh, look at dog! It's a dog, guys! He was a good boy. He was a good boy. Can I pet the dog? 
I want to pet him. I don't know how this works. Oh. He likes it when I jump? Is that it? I don't want to hit the attack button and end up attacking him. I just... I want to figure out how to pet him. Nope, that's not it. <laughs> okay, well that's cool. I wonder if we can get a dog of our own, guys. That would be so good. Oh, look at all the sheep. Look at all the sheep. Can I ride a sheep? Nice and easy. Not gonna hurt you. Nope. I guess they just hang out here. They don't really do anything. Yeah, this place is quite big. I wonder what this raft... Okay, the raft is there to take us out to that big tree in the center. We should probably check that out. Just... Wait, dog. What was the dog doing? Did you see that? He was, like, spinning around in circles. He just likes it when we hang out near him. <laughs> Alright, cool. Good boy. I'm gonna make your dog love me and then I'm gonna steal him. See, you have more than one dog. You don't need all of them. Don't be greedy. Hello there. Nice evening, isn't it? Huh? Are you some kind of wanderer? Hmm, interesting. This could work out. You look handy with a bow. Mind helping a poor farmer out? Uh, sure. What you need? Woohoo! I had a lucky feeling you were the answer to my prayers. So what I need is for you to hunt some deer out in Retsum Forest. They're overpopulated these days and it's destroying the forest. That's why I was hoping you could hunt all the deer you can in one minute. Oh, that sounds challenging, but okay. Ooh. Thank you. Can you go right away? Is there a trick to this? A trick? Well, I guess it helps to have a strong bow to take them down with one shot. And of course, you want to get close enough to the deer to line up your shot without them noticing you. So, you think you can do it? Sure, let's give it a shot. What a trooper, I'm counting on you. Wait, where did it take us? How far away is this place? I'm scared, guys. The game's gonna judge me. About that deer hunting. No time like the present, right? Go get started, and I'll call you once your minute is up, okay? Uh, uh... Okay. Well, we should probably use our strongest bow, right? Knight's bow. Well, I guess we don't have to use our strongest one. Let's see if this bow is good enough. No! Oh, oh, shit! Dude! Okay, that worked. And, yes, we can collect the meat, too. Okay. That's a boar. We don't want to waste our time on boar. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Stop running around like a crazy thing! Shit! They're so fast, guys! No! Got him. There's one. No! Okay, there we go. I compensated a little too much right there. Damn it! I really thought that was gonna land. Hey, a sun shroom. A bright red mushroom that grows in hot climates. Imbued with the power of heat, they can be used to cook dishes that will allow you to endure the bitter cold. Cool. I think four is gonna be our score here, guys. That doesn't seem like a lot. Ah. Fucker. That's time! Come back, Wanderer! I am starting to run out of arrows, too. Oh. You got four deer. You're downright vicious with that bow, Wanderer. Here's a reward for you. Oh, five rupees. Its shiny blue facets make you weak in the knees. The thing with these deer, though, we really have to get their numbers under control. Hey, Wanderer, can I ask you to go again? Uh, no. Not right now. Well, well, shucks. Let me know if you ever change your mind. Yeah, the problem there is that I'm using my own arrows. And it's, uh quite difficult, actually. Because I'm just not that great yet, and I don't know what kind of score I would need to get 
to actually make it worth my time. But I definitely have to come back when I have, like, a shitload more arrows. And we still have to take out... Oh, we can find out more from her, I think. Sorry if we got off on the wrong foot. Uh, that's all. No, no, no. Talk to me. Uh, what monsters? The stupid ones who attack anything that moves. Last time they showed up, I gave them a taste of my pitchfork. But I had second thoughts about following them back to their camp on Hateno Beach. I was mad enough to spit, but maybe not mad enough to take on seven monsters at once. Anything else you want to know? I know where the beach is, but tell me anyway. It's southeast of the village. Follow the winding road and you'll be there before you know it. It's a well... It's well known enough that you can probably find it on a map. Come to that. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely going to do that eventually. Uh, stop saying that. It's fine. We're, we're good here. I'm going to go into your house and ransack anything you might have. And talk to your... Grandpa? Talk. Zzz. That dude ain't getting up. Alright. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Nothing in here. Alright. Okay, I think we've pretty thoroughly exhausted most of the things in this area. I actually do want to get across to that tree. There's a bunch of ducks in the water. I don't think we need the raft to do that, though. I'm not sure why it's there. But it seems like it won't really be an issue to just jump in and swim across here. Yeah, it's simple. This is a big-ass tree. Why does it exist here? It's like the Great Deku Tree or something. <laughs> Let's get to the top. See what we're uh, working with up here. Ah, Korok. I was actually just thinking it was odd that we hadn't found any of these dudes in the village up till now. That's the only one we found. Cool. Now we can glide back from here. Okay, guys. Well, I will tell you what. There is more forest over here. Oh, uh, no. We can't go there yet. We've got to continue our journey. But I'm actually going to have to continue it a bit later. I was kind of thinking... That one good session would be enough to finish this place out. But it was a little bigger and a little more distracting than I thought. That's what she said. And I actually have to take a break. So when we come back, I think we'll be about ready to get to the top. Talk to this professor dude and get some more story. Find out what he has for us. I think it'll be good to come back with a fresh start. I am actually a little tired right now. My ass kind of hurts from sitting in this chair. So rigidly for the last two hours so yeah when we come back that's what we'll do and uh who knows what's gonna come after that guys i don't i sure shit don't i don't know anything but thanks for your support i'm dude long couch and i'll catch you guys in the next part that is a beautiful landscape flying v <laughs> take care guys